the second day of Intel Semasters um, with Gamit Gaming's top laner Kabachard. Uh, Lucas, I want to go back in time and start with your first match with Gambit. That was back in, uh, in summer 2014 in London. You were recruited as a substitute. And what was your mindset going into this match? Did, did you want to perform as best as you can to be potentially noticed and recruited by someone? So, yeah, it was the mindset going into this game to like uh, prove myself in front of a big crowd and like uh, LCS match. But on top of that, we had uh, very little pressure because we knew we were subs and we were just playing for Gambit like, to help them because uh, players couldn't come because of visas. Well, you ended up on NIP together with Alex Sitch. It unfortunately didn't work out for a team, but a lot of fans still follow Alex's performance, his progress. What can you tell about your time with him back in NIP? So it has been really cool being with him. He's a really nice guy. And like even if it didn't work out at the end, I, I had some good time in NIP and it was a good experience for me. Uh, as a veteran player, did he manage to elevate your play and teach, share his experience with you? Um, yeah, for sure. Like we are living together, so if I had any trouble just about like uh, living in general, or even like in the game or in LCS, etc., yeah, he could help me. Mm -hmm. uh, in your recent AMA, you mentioned that uh, throughout the time from London to joining Gambits, you managed to improve your play drastically. Was it the experience playing competitively that allowed you to learn different nuances when it comes to lane swaps, etc.? Um, yeah, it was. I, I took the game more seriously when I knew like there was like much more than just playing solo queue and having fun at this game. So I improved uh, myself on the game and <clears throat> like mechanically by playing more, expanding the champion pool, or just playing in team and like seeing how many strategies you can have in one game. Well, uh, back in December you played at IM Cologne and already there you displayed your carry potential and impressive champion pool and as the season went on in LCS you played like almost 10 champions already what do you think makes it possible for you to play such an array of champions so, uh, I think playing a lot of solo queue and seeing like how many champions you can actually play I think in the current meta in top lane is very open there is a lot of champions you can play and can work so like for me it wasn't so much of a problem to play that many champs but there are, well, certain players in different regions who struggle to uh, expand your champion pool. So <laughs> how do you able to achieve that? Do you have any tricks or uh, are you just, is it easy for you to grasp new concepts? Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, not really hard for me. Like I play champions a couple of times and I know my limits onto him. So then I can just improve on what you can do actually with the champion, like tipping and all this stuff. Well, speaking of unorthodox picks, uh, you played Jarwan in this tournament against CG Antus, and it was part of your composition that was supposed to enforce early pressure. How do you feel you have performed on this champion? I think I performed pretty well. Like We tried to play around me because we wanted to snowball on the Lulu, and eventually it didn't work out at the end. Their composition was uh, too strong, protecting the Kogmo. But I still think I played uh, a pretty good game, so that was good for me. Uh, a lot of strategies uh, in the games you play are revolved around you, getting you going early on. Uh, why do you think your team uses this uh, approach? I think it's because uh, in the current meta you can carry from top lane, either by playing uh, champions that have uh, snowball potential or just by pressuring with TP. So it's not like before, or top lane you could play only tanks and you would farm, farm and then just be a tank in team fights. I think right now it's uh, much more evolved, so we can play on me more. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm not sure whether a lot of people know it, but your brother, Istari, is trying to become a professional player as well. Did you at any point of time try to play with him together, form a French team or something like that? Yeah, we, play, we played together a couple of times. That has been really cool because we are uh, very close, obviously, and it's really easy going, so yeah, I hope you will get into LCS uh, really soon. But what, what is it like? I don't think there are a lot of players like oh. in the competitive scene whose brothers are playing as well. Did it give you an emotional boost? Did, your, did it make your parents support your endeavors more? Um, yeah, but like when you're in the game, you don't actually see each other as brothers. You're just players. It will be the mid laner and I will be the top laner. So there is no difference with, like being with another player. 
just out, outside of the game we can help more each other because we know each other more, for example. Well, speaking of brotherhood, as far as I see, you have developed really good relationships within the team and you get on r r really well. Was it just is it something that you have specifically worked on or did you just click as a group of players? Uh, with the Gamit players? And yeah, they are all really easy going as well, so it, it doesn't be much of a problem to be close with them and friends. <coughs> well, uh, the, the, the same has been unfortunate for you, and but going forward, you have LCS, you have you almost guaranteed to make it to playoffs. How do you think you will do when when it gets to that? So yeah, we we need to work really hard. Like there is only two more weeks to improve until playoffs. So we'll work really hard and the aim is obviously to get the first spot in ULCS at playoffs. Well, I hope that you are able to do that because it provides you a chance to play more international competitions, get more experience and is there anything else you would like to say? Well, thanks uh, everyone for supporting us even we, if we didn't perform that well at, at AM and we'll try to bounce back for LCS playoffs.